Baton Rouge stand up again. I do this for my city. In 2010, Baton Rouge ranked as one of the top 10 places for young adults and was ranked the ninth best place in the country to start a business. It's the home of the Southern Jaguars and capital of all the states, but is now referred to by the new era hip hop community as the Era, a title gained by the city's rapid growth of crime and violence that's mostly perpetuated by the locals. The first time the world would see Baton Rouge in its rawest form was through a hood DVD that featured BR neighborhoods without a script. It showed the harsh reality of violent energy that stems from not having things as well as the fact that everybody's about that life which means there's no logical way of thinking when it comes to settling beef that bout it bout it mentality is the result of many hood wars unfortunately BR's rap community is not excluded but instead is the actual broadcasting for street activities that take place amongst them and every BR rapper appears to be involved in street life in one way or another top boy gorilla has been in effect for a while now but has gained major notoriety through its newest roster of MCs with Fredo bang as the general more strategic than consistent when it comes to releasing songs and videos online but is guaranteed to be a hit when it drops i sling out but i like the rap a lot yeah I got mob ties just like rap a lot. You can take the rapper out of BR, but you can't take BR out of the rapper. Fredo's lyrics is a prime example of street life and is also felt by have-nots, hustlers, and millions of people in the world who can relate to it. It's still interesting to think what it would have been like for TBG if G Money was still here. Flexing and finessing, bitch, I'm jugging in your section. Serve it to you raw, but I can't come without my weapon. After his 2015 release of Take It There and All I Know, as well as being named one out of 12 Baton Rouge rappers you should know by XXL in 2017. He began to take his rap career more seriously. Rapping since his junior high school years, his patience and hustle paid off, and G Money was about to see a real bag from rap. He was the front man in the TBG's family and the main priority in their industry attempt, so he was counted on by many people and like a soldier ready to serve his country, he stepped up. I'm on Civil League, that Boulevard adopted me. Got an A plus at Hidden Leaks and pulling robbery. On February 1st, 2017, G Money released G Code his debut mixtape to the world and followed up with a couple of videos that put him ahead in the rap race. Think it's about time I spin the bag and go and take a vacation. Shout out to my CEO, he just got on probation. G Money's next mixtape titled G Code 2 was released on April 6, 2018, months after G's departure. But fortunately, two songs with videos were released beforehand. The recipe and the heart pumping real life story, industry. I've been trying to maintain, trying to stay in my lane. G Money meant a lot to a lot of people and lives on through his music, fans, friends, and family. The mother of a local rapper is speaking out after her son was shot and killed two years ago. It's been two years since the loss of G Money, but according to his family, it feels like yesterday. His mother stated in a first time interview that G had just received the record deal and was about to leave Baton Rouge to pursue the majors. And although she's received major support from friends and fans around the world, it doesn't bring her loss back. All the bullets that a nigga dodged, pack the bags to the kitchen charge. Although G Money never reached the majors, left the legacy that's now a part of Baton Rouge's Rap Hall of Fame and history. And although there's been an arrest made, there's still no public knowledge on when the trial begins. 24-year-old DeAndre Fields, aka Lil Pap, was arrested in June 2019 and charged with second-degree murder in the G Money's case. He's now a resident of East Baton Rouge Parish Prison without a bond while awaiting trial. Not like Baton Rouge, not like Baton Rouge. I do this for my Whenever you mention BR's rap scene, you must pay homage to the pioneers. Young Bleed, Nussy, Webby, and most notable, Boosie Badass. After surviving several street episodes and life in earth court cases, Boosie then graduated to OG status and have been living out his career with his feet kicked up as he continues to give advice and guidance to those who are attempting to walk in his shoes. Bad rules stand up again. I do this for my city. He got his start when there was no social media, and like fashion, he changed with time and stayed relevant through the evolving of eras. Check this out, it's going down. Boosha Bash, weekend, concert, stop the violence, block party, comedy show. It's safe to say Boosie is the king of BR, and like every great leader, he's shown love to the people. In early 2019, Boosie held his annual mega concert titled Boosie Bash, where he pulled a young Russell Simmons and mixed comedy with hip hop all in one show. The 2019 Boosie Bash featured performances by Lil Duval, Rich Homie Quan, YFN Lucci, Webby, Boosie himself, and many others. That I can't be the one you love. 
struggles I overcome. I do that for my dog and now he owe me one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it just turned out to be one of the best songs when I, you know me, I'm three seconds left on the clock, man. Fourth quarter pressure, some of that intensity. From a statement to a movement, I'm Him brings one thing to mind, Kevin Gates. Every time I repeat it to me, it rags. I done fell off and I ran it back up and I'm mad all month. I'm cool and what's that? I'm Him stems from the belief that the majority of his life hardships were being inflicted on him by himself. And the only way to overcome that cycle of harsh realities was to challenge and destroy that side of himself, which resulted into the birth of the new Kevin Gates. It's like I'm trying to be better than what I was before, so it's like I set the bar so high with such a great body of work, it make me just feel like it gotta be, it gotta be that. I'm your, you all like it, I'm him. Physically, mentally, and psychologically fit would explain Gates' new movement and just like Youngboy have been dominating social media. Eight digit views on multiple video uploads in a short period of time makes him top ranking in becoming the king of YouTube. Two. They bite. They bite, man. So I ain't gonna lie. I begged him to come to Cali. I say, look. I say, hey, man, come out, you. Man, shit, you can come stay with me. I got a tattoo of him. This is where they rob people at. They be robbing folks, not Big 50. On me because I love him. And you can say what you want to, but just in Louisiana, when we love somebody, we appreciate them while they're alive. And we get their faces as monumental, you know what I'm saying? NBA young boy and the young Kevin Gates have lots in common. Their reactions to life actions are similar, but now that Kevin Gates is aligned with himself, his outlook on life is totally different. He's a, he is young, and I saw a lot of myself in him. And you know, I was like, yeah, and I love him. Come here, put him under my wing. Yeah. It seems the key factor in sealing your success is leaving the city due to the nature of BR streets. When you're somebody in the city, you become the target of all types of weird energy that's looking to knock you off your block. And it's only a matter of time before you're a victim. I pull up acting in a photo. Look like my in with me in his cheaper bomb solo. Within the past year, the Never Broke Again movement took several hits that changed the internal functioning of the brand. But with young boys' talents, work ethic, and enormous fan base, they bounced back with even more momentum than before. The level of success he's reached gives the NBA brand a spot at the dinner table and after his release from jail, they began to chow down once again. Live it up, baby, hate no me, I ain't tripping cause we are. NBA Youngboy is only 20 years old, and like many OGs at his age, were a direct reflection. Kevin Gates was arrested at 13 years old for riding in a stolen car, and again in 2003 for an altercation that left one man stabbed multiple times, and once again in 2015 for an assault on a fan. From 2008 to 2014, Boosie Badass was up to his neck with criminal charges, prison time, and dodging the death penalty, all of which he bounced back from in order to become the OG he is today. Bottom boys, uptown, big Bread money make. Fresh about the Paris stumping in they chuck tape. Just like Kevin Gates, Boosie, and many others did as a young artist, NBA young boy is just going through the motions of growing up. And if he stays focused on moving forward in his career, someday he'll be giving advice to young rappers that's going through what he once did. With time on his side, only time will tell. And in just one year, NBA young boy will legally become NBA young man. Most hood dwellers never left their city and doesn't even know that there's other worlds out there that may have more to offer them than their normal surroundings. But when being a hood celebrity is all you know, the bar is set way too low. When you think big, big things happen and sometimes that's all you need to change your circumstances. What music you wanna talk about, baby? In general, man, I'm just from a little place called Statesboro, man. You can't get out out here. So you want to know what to do? Yeah, yeah, man. Man, move around and give your music to everybody you see. Give it to them for free. Just give it away and keep giving it away. You do a pass out. If you ever been in the streets, you heard me, they got some kind of pass out. And then once you give it away for free, you grab your handful and you pass out samples. You put a five on a 28 just so your client can accumulate. You grab your handful, pass out samples. Make a shooter older. Make a shooter is more. I hit him with a high shot, you know, that in the old me, so I slowly, if that this shit they really want, I was a gonna wear small that one time, you know, I jacked it, and they try to send me bone, take your money, hopefully, I'm sick, 
I ain't get loaded in seven years. I kick. <laughs> This, that's the game. That's my game plan. I just grab a handful of pass out samples. And it's, it's good. good. Everybody's going to come back and fuck oh, with you. Well, what you say to artists that can't get out there and get the CDs? Hey, well, get yourself then because you got breath in your body and you got legs. Go get you a job and get you some money. And it's no excuses.